Dominie 2009, it's GM169, and uh, we were asked to uh, make a video recording of the station uh, highlighting the hatch areas, stowage, and the FGB, Potok, and other things. We're going to start in node 1 and work backwards today because the service module will be uh, deep in the throes of cabling for the Meme Dwa, so uh, we'll start there and then uh, we'll move to the front of the station. In node 1, you can see here our galley table is set up, and uh, there's two... Uh, straps right here holding it rigidly and bungees down on the bottom holding it uh, a little bit more springily and uh, it's in its uh, half folded configuration it folds up against the side there flat and it folds out across the node to accommodate everybody the uh, hatch as you can see is unimpeded by the table and a quick circumferential view of the hatch which I think was asked for and uh, PMA1, we have uh, started to burn down a lot of the supplies here and uh, it's actually looking pretty good, believe it or not, that narrow tunnel. And uh, here we go now on to the FGB. Now I'll make a note that uh, Gennady has uh, just gone to Herculean efforts to clean up the FGB, uh, stow things, get rid of things, and uh, I would say that it's not looked better than this for an awfully long time. Uh, we had to uh, add another layer here for the EVAs and put uh, other Orlon suits up here. These, of course, are now uh, back in the uh, SO Adin, and uh, the FGB is looking great. It's still a huge amount of stowage, and anything stored in the plane one is very difficult to access. There was a, a question about the Potok location in the FGB. Here it is. Um, it's uh, been moved in a very convenient location after the uh, Risto uh, activities after the EVAs. And uh, down here we have, of course, several Yedeves disassembled KTOs. Here again you get a view of uh, the FGB and how much uh, flyway there is now compared to what there used to be. This is the uh, hygiene station which is uh, something all the crew members used at first. Uh, now uh, just uh, Gennady and Roman are using this and the uh, US segment guys are pretty much using the WHC and uh, this is working out uh, fairly well. And of course the uh, FGB and uh, down here is the uh, 19S Soyuz down in the depths. Coming out again through the PMA and the light at the end of the tunnel. And now we'll uh, try to play uh, or pay a particular attention to uh, stowage areas. And in particular, this is the uh, there we go, the uh, node one uh, Nader hatch area. Uh, we still have uh, leftover Tevis items in here from the uh, maintenance that we did. And then uh, looking starboard along the uh, the hatch area is uh, a collection of CWCs. And of course, uh, behind the A red, the port hatch, pretty much nothing is stowed there because of the dynamic envelope of the A red. And uh, let's take a look overhead. So the uh, zenith hatch area, we had done a lot of uh, pre staging of trash here before the last progress. And uh, this area is, of course, I think slated for a stowage for a 17A. Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of potential stowage area up here. And just as a note, when we do stow a lot of things up here, uh, we lose some of the ventilation, we lose some of the lighting, and uh, we're, we uh, have to be careful again with the uh, A-red dynamic envelope, but uh, it does uh, swallow a lot of cargo there. Now looking at the um, Node 1 forward area, we see Koichi Wakata, the hero of Japan, 
and uh, to highlight some of the stowage on the uh, starboard side uh, here we have a uh, CTB behind there, a jettison stowage bag with uh, pre-trash uh, gather items and uh, on the port side uh, you see more CTBs. We've reported that these actually do cover some fire ports and I think that's well known. The uh, PFE is, uh, is accessible on the port side there but it takes a little while. So there you can see stowage pretty much along the port side. The green mesh bags you see here, here, and on uh, either side, these are the uh, U.S. segment uh, crew members athletic bags. Uh, we keep uh, Tevis harnesses, tennis shoes, sweat towels, and things like that in here. And uh, looking into the airlock. And a quick look around the hatch. Hatches are in very good shape. We do uh, kind of inspect the hatches uh, in a cursory fashion once a day or so and do quick fly-throughs uh, looking at hatches and excursions and uh, anything that might be stuck in the fan filters. It's been a lot of work in the uh, pre-EVA tool gathering configuration getting ready for uh, 2JA and uh, the airlock in general is uh, looking pretty good and uh, pretty ready for the uh, 2JA guys to get here. The uh, crew lock is uh, full of tools and many workstations are all configured and ready to go. Yeah, Jay, go ahead on two. And a uh, quick look at the hatch circumference as requested. And the hatch there looks pretty good. And a, a quick look at the Huntsville Station Space Ground 2 for Nutrition Repository. Go ahead, Bob, on two. I just wish to report that all of the early morning activities for uh, FE4 Nutrition Repository have been completed. Uh, I filled out crew notes in OSTPV. Uh, take a look at those if there's additional information you need. Okay, now we'll uh, move into the lab. And a quick look at the uh, hatch seal around. And it's a little dark in here, but I think you can get an idea that the uh, hatch is pretty unencumbered. And I will highlight the fact for the stowage guys that uh, we do have some food deployed up here. Uh, we've been marking that in the database as uh, Node 1, Starboard uh, 1. And um, we uh, turn this over uh, similar to uh, what we do in the uh, service module here. Uh, typically, we eat dinner as a crew uh, down here in Node 1, and uh, a lot of this is rehydratable. And, uh, of course, we're using our PWD for that. Okay, moving on to the lab, and we'll make a tape break here. We're moving into uh, the lab now, the U.S. lab, and uh, we'll do some uh, swivels here to make sure that the hatches are uh, well seen for those uh, getting the tour. And uh, notably uh, the RWS over here and uh, SSCs on either side of it, eight on the left, five on the right. I'll get a quick look at those for those who might be interested in the uh, robotics ops coming up. We've uh, done several robotic operations uh, in Expedition 19 and uh, those worked out very well with this arrangement using the SSC-5 as a uh, procedure machine and SSC-8 over here as a dug machine. And looking back quickly at the uh, 
hatch arrangement. See the hatch is clear.